Hello everyone. Um, I really wasn't sure where I wanted to go with this video, but I think that um, one of the things that's been kind of interesting to me is talking with people about their careers, talking about where they're going in the future and just how they're going to get ahead. Um, one of the key things to that really is where you're at in life. Um, you know, for me, I'm over 40 now. I've uh, been working my career for about 20 years doing IT. IT is pretty hot right now, so that's been, been a blessing. Um, for the most part, I've been able to find a job, I've been employed, or I've you know, started my own businesses related to IT. You know, I could do that because the, the market is so hot. But one of the, the questions or, or things that, I, that, that I've noticed in, in dealing with friends is, is trying to figure out where you go and how do you stay relevant when you're over the age of 40. So I wanted to kind of put this post out there just because I, I think there are a lot of people in that situation trying to figure out, well, you know, um, everything is changing. You know, the days of, of, of talking on a, a, a phone on the corner or, you know, or, you know being out there uh, growing, um, uh, you know, using your skills and then showing historically who you are and, and getting a pension and finding ways to to prove your worth. It, it's just becoming harder now. There's there's so much noise out there. There's so many um, people out in the market um, with newer skills than you. Because, I mean, you're not living that life for the most part because you're too busy. You know, you have kids, you got, you got you know, house, you got all types of stuff that basically is taking up your time so to stay in social media to stay you know you know rel relevant in 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 you know on blogging and all that type of stuff is, is extremely difficult so so i wanted to make this post in a way to to kind of give a couple tips and what you can do to stay relevant um and to stay active in in, in getting your yourself out there when you're over the age of 40 so <clears throat> So um, I, I think the first thing that you should do really is to make sure that you have your personal brand out there. Um, what do I mean by that? Personal brand meaning who you are. Like I use LinkedIn to put my information out there so people can know what I'm working on, where I'm at, some of my successes, um, so that way they can see where, where I'm going in life and what I'm looking for. Um, so I think LinkedIn is a powerful tool for doing that. I think having your information out there, um, you know, where you're working at, some of your successes, um, and, and just kind of broadcasting your, your, who you are, your image, including, you know, a, a great self-image, self-photo of yourself um, out there on LinkedIn is a great way to get started. Secondly, I, I, I think you really can't sit on your laurels anymore. You can't sit up there and think that your resume is good enough because it's not. Really, you need to be able to prove, show and prove that you're able to still do what is on your resume. You cannot live in the past. You can't have your fancy degrees and, and oh, I did all these successes 20 years ago. No one cares. Right now, people want to know what's happening. What have you done yesterday? So a great way of doing that is by putting stuff out there, um, showing what you do, um, using technology for that. Not everyone's a, you know, a tech person. Uh, but you should use technology for broadcasting, making it easier for people to find you out who you are and what you're working on. Um, so for me, I'm in IT, so you know I can have my my WordPress blog out there, which is my website that I got hosted through HostGator. I can put uh, <clears throat> articles out there that I'm working on through LinkedIn. It's one of the powerful platforms that I mentioned. I mean, you should at least start with that, even if you're not going to do a blog or anything. Put your stuff on LinkedIn. I personally use Twitter because I think Twitter is tied closer to businesses um, for, for getting information out there. So I use Twitter a lot. Um, I kind of have an automated way of using Twitter, which I can I can put in show notes or whatever. So I do that. Um, and then I kind of you know make sure since I'm in IT, that I'm relating or showing the information about IT that I am personally working on, which would be AR, VR, AI, you know, things that I'm kind of working on, not just everything, but things that I'm interested in and things that I can comment on. So I kind of put those within there. So I think you should do the same. If your field is medicine, you should be talking about medicine and things that you're experiencing within the medical field. If you're, I mean, if you're welding, who cares? 
put the information out. Show that you're an expert welder. Show some of the stuff that you're working on. Build some stuff on the side. Get it out there and show and talk about and stay relevant and stay on top of what's happening now and relate what you're doing to, to what's happening now. That's one of the reasons I love Twitter because I can actually look at what hashtags are popular, relate when I'm interested in what I'm doing now, build up my following, um, and, and, and keep my, my name out there um, at a high level. Um, and thirdly, one of the things that I, that's very interesting as a part of this topic is actually trying to make sure that you protect your image. What do I mean by that? Right now, identity theft and, and people just pretending to be other people is extremely, extremely harmful um, to you and your brand. So you need to make sure you're staying on top of what information is out there about you. Like, you know, so whether that's a Google search, whether that's making sure that you own you know, the, the accounts, the Twitter accounts, the website URLs, the things that relate to your name, um, and you are in control of that information is very important. So that's why you really need to have your Facebook page, your Twitter page. You need to own those things before someone decides to impersonate you and actually own those things for you. Um, so, so, so that's one of the things that's really relevant. So getting that personal brand, laying out and identifying which social platforms you need to be on that you're going to stay on top of. Um, as well as taking your information and broadcasting it in a way that shows that you're an expert in your field helps keep people interested in you. And then when you send that resume out, you know, maybe this could be the fourth thing, make sure you're referencing these things that you're working on and how, you know, you're basically involved and, 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 you're, and you're an expert in the community in your given profession. So... Uh, in my resume, I put the projects that I'm working on. Like I said, I'm a developer, so I do mobile apps on the side. I do gaming stuff on the side. I do, um, you know, some some blog posts or some websites that I've worked on in the past. So I kind of cut that stuff and I kind of put it within my resume relating to what the people are looking for um, at the position. So I, I think that's very important is to kind of stay on top of that, that stuff and to make sure that you're staying relevant, you're staying on top, you're showing that you're still involved and that you're not living in the past on some previous successes from, from five to 10 years ago. Because at the end of the day, once you get around this 40, you know, you know, a little bit higher age, you know, they say ageism doesn't exist, but it, it does. People look at you and say, well, what can you bring to the table? Yes, we love your, your experience, your knowledge, but we need someone who's gonna produce now because we're trying to make money. And if you don't show that you can produce or how you're generating um, content or, or just um, um, bringing you know, great value to the table with what you know and actually utilize your knowledge to generate or, or to produce things, then it, 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 you're just another person in the hat. Oh, well, this person's been at GM for 10 years and that person's been, well, you know, who, who, who talks the best, who, you know who who comes in with the best suit it, it just it, it really you know limits or or puts you in a box with everybody else when you can stand above them with with greater content and and just greater uh, expression of your knowledge across different social platforms uh, so anyway that's something that was weighing on my mind um hopefully that helps you um hopefully if you check the show notes i'll have some information on um just um ways that you can do that um, certain platforms that you can use and you can look at some of the things that I'm doing across my various platforms like I said my website um, um, my, my, my small business my you know LinkedIn and stuff like that so that way hopefully you can learn some things from that and it'll benefit you I'm hoping to improve and increase my um, uh, branding out there my, my self image out there so hey please leave a comment let me know what you think Send me some suggestions on things that you would be interested in seeing from me based on my experience, and I'll put them out there. All right. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, and um, we'll, we'll touch base soon.